Piers Morgan has expressed outrage over what he called another, horrifying security failure after a gunman came dangerously close to assassinating former U.S. President Donald Trump during a golf round in Palm Beach. In his latest column for The Sun, Morgan slammed the U.S. Secret Service for allowing yet another breach in Trump's security, just nine weeks after a previous attack almost cost the former president his life. Morgan's immediate reaction to the news was blunt. WTF, he posted on X, formerly Twitter, capturing the shock many felt at the thought of another lone gunman nearly getting within striking distance of the 2024 presidential candidate. How could this have happened again? He asked, referencing the July incident where a bullet grazed Trump's ear during a rally. In this latest assassination attempt, the gunman was able to get within 300 to 500 yards of Trump, hiding behind a chain-link fence on the Trump International Golf Club course, armed with a scoped AK-47 and a GoPro camera. Morgan described the scene as shocking and disgraceful, noting that the assassin's plan was only foiled when a sharp-eyed Secret Service agent spotted the rifle barrel and opened fire, causing the suspect to flee. Morgan didn't mince words in his criticism of the Secret Service. While he praised the individual agent who likely saved Trump's life, he lambasted the agency for allowing a gunman to get so close, especially in light of the recent rally attack. This shooter could get that close, it was another abject security failure of horrifying proportions, Morgan wrote. He was equally scathing toward the explanation offered by Palm Beach County Sheriff Rick Bradshaw, who said Trump's security detail was scaled back because he is no longer the sitting president. Have you ever heard anything so dumb? Morgan exclaimed, arguing that Trump's continued prominence as the Republican frontrunner and his past assassination attempts warrant much stricter protection. Trump's eldest son, Eric Trump, added to the urgency of the situation, saying, my father is running out of lives. Morgan echoed that sentiment, pointing out that Trump, who famously ordered the killings of Iranian General Qasem Soleimani and ISIS leader Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi during his presidency, remains a target for extremists. Despite the near-death experience, Morgan noted that Trump handled the crisis with characteristic calm. According to witnesses, his main concern was ensuring the safety of others on the golf course, and his biggest frustration, as he told Fox News' Sean Hannity, was not being able to finish the hole due to a birdie putt. As Morgan pointed out, this latest attempt on Trump's life could politically benefit the former president, pulling attention away from negative headlines that had dominated the news cycle, including his debate performance against Kamala Harris and controversial remarks about migrants.